We're here in the basement of the Seriati residence looking at a possible full system replacement. We've got a train standard efficiency furnace using a four inch flue stack. Got a one inch filter cabinet, uh, decent sizing on a return drop. I think it's 12 by 24. Uh, we do have a transition uh, that we had to, that had to be made uh, to equal out our airflow. Um, it's eight by 22 coming down here. Uh, it might be our easiest bet just to rehang uh, this piece of duct here, get it to a 25 and come across as opposed to redoing a transition. It's eight by 20, it's a little bit undersized to begin with. We could scoot this back to say here, expand that, and then just bring our trunk line all the way over and then carry straight down. So we can get a four inch filter cabinet, get our furnace on a base. Existing train furnace is a 40 incher. So going back with a 34 or a 33 with six inch base will put us basically right where we're at. It looks like a two and a half ton coil. Feels like three quarter inch line set. It is a line flue. We got a five inch liner connecting to our four and our three for our water heater. Black iron pipe for our gas lines. Rework those new unions, disconnection, shutoffs. Electrical comes down from the ceiling. And then our drain. Runs into here. I'm not sure if that goes to our sump. Yes. Okay. So it'd be fine. Not looking at high efficiency furnace, uh, so we don't need to worry about that on our drain. Just a couple of feet. One way trunk line, then it splits into multiples here. Any questions, let me know. We're in this Ariati residence. Um, customer has some concerns in the winter months that uh, it stays pretty cold down here. Uh, he's got four vents uh, throughout. I advise, you know, you can leave those open in your winter months uh, to, to make it a little bit warmer. Uh, but in talking, he would like to add a return as well. I think our, our best spot to add that return would be coming off the side with a, a six inch round connect to this. You can take this uh, board off. It's just got two screws holding it on. on. Pan the back side of this up, connect here, connect into our return piece. And that would put us into finished space on the other side. And then for combustion air grills, uh, either going here on that side or here near the stairwell uh, for combustion air. High and low, go to the back or up front. Any questions, let me know. Oh, it's not a walkout, but it's just a short run. That's out of Seriati residence, looking at a possible full system replacement. Uh, we got a two and a half ton train unit setting out here, 13 sear, uh, setting on a pad. Uh, we'll need to probably re-level, pull up at least the top concrete pad. Looks like a heavy one underneath. Uh, just get it re-leveled. I don't know if we should do pavers or maybe heat pump feet. It has a tiny bit of a lean to it, but we can add heat pump feet if we need to. Uh, new electrical disconnect and whip coming out to the unit. We got three quarter by three eighths inch line set. We'll flush and pressure test that. We'll need about four feet of Thermoflex insulation on the outside. And then accessibility, we can bring in equipment through our alleyway here, backside, and then our door right there on the side going down to the basement. Any questions, let me know.